get a hundred thousand off a tight piece. Me and my niggas, we do it like Nike. She asked me if I'm high, so I might be. That bitch hitting my phone, wanna bite me. She want my money, I don't think she like me. I like my bitch that's fat, real fight. I wish for anything things like we did. Hey, chopper got a drum, plus a hold a hundred fifty. Nigga try to run, hit him up, do his ass like Rick. Outside with these guns, we got a lot of it. Twenty twenty unemployment hit the lottery. The way I make these bitches crazy. What's going on YouTube man? God damn, my fault y'all. I literally just woke up and headed here. But what's going on YouTube man? It's your boy J Single. I'm back with another video. I'm back with another banger man. As you can see by the title, I need y'all to like this video. I need y'all to subscribe man. Because this is a long time coming man. This is a very long time coming bro. If y'all know me and what I stand for as a man bro, y'all know that. I've always wanted to buy my mama crib. Okay, that's here. Okay. Back. Right, one second. I should have been started my intro. I'm tripping. All right. Thank you so much, sir. Have a good one. But if you know me, you know that one of my biggest goals this year and just biggest goal in life, bro, is to get my mom a crib, you know, because my mom done did so much for me. You feel me? She done took care of me my whole life. Even though, of course, that's their job, you feel me? But just the way my mama did it, you feel me? Well, our, all of our moms, you know, I feel like it's sons and as, as, as kids of our parents, all we want is the best for them, all we want is the world for them, you know? And that's definitely like me, I come from a very humble beginning, you feel me, a very humble household <clears throat> where I have I had nothing but my family, you know? We didn't have money like that, so we never really resorted to money or just, ne you know, like never seeing our family with me. It was more so like all I had was my family, you feel me? That's all we had through all these hard times. All we had was each other. You know, me being the firstborn, I done seen everything. I, I, it's like I grew up with my mom. You know, I watched her go through all her mistakes. I watched her make all her decisions, you feel me? And that made her who she is today. That's the reason why I am who I am today because I seen how hard this shit is. I know this shit is not easy. I know this life shit, you can't take it for granted. You know what I'm saying? And then just growing up where I grew up, you know, a lot of people don't make it out where I come from. You know, my life, like as many as y'all know, my best friend passed at 16. I could have been going at any time in my life. It's, you know, I've been shot before. You know, it's just a lot of things. I feel like in life, a nigga that overcame. Me personally, I feel like my purpose is to take care of my family. You know, that's the type of Man, I wanna be, I just wanna be a, a family man. You know, I don't wanna live that crazy lifestyle. You feel me? Yeah, while I'm young, I wanna experience it and just get it out the way. You know, because that just, you know, we young, you know, you wanna experience that shit. But I feel like in the long run, I ultimately know, like, me personally, I want a big house. I want a big house. I want to have a wife. I want to have kids. I want to have a, a dog. You know what I'm saying? I want to, you know, a yard. You know, like, that's the type of life I want to live. Like, watch the, watch the Super Bowls or, like, grill type shit. You know, that's the life I want to live personally. You feel me? But enough yapping, y'all. I feel like I could talk later on, like later on, later on. But we are currently at a house right now. It's the first house I'm looking at for my mom. I was looking at it on the app, um, on Zillow and shit, and it was just a beautiful home. You feel me? From the pictures, and it fitted what I wanted, you know, like my mom to live in. You feel me? But I also am looking at some more houses that fit even more in my budget. This one's in my budget but it's a little like to the closer to the max this one is about like 5500 you know in my apartment i already pay like 35 but i feel like with my mom and them i feel like i have more content to post and you know i'm not really tripping about the price because i've been saving so long you feel me but i just do, do want to make everything you know right i want to make it the least stressful you know what i'm saying i just want to make everything the best you know as go as smooth as possible you feel me it don't matter how much money you got me coming for where, where i come from bro i think about the days when i don't got it you know i think about all right what's the lowest i ever made is that gonna be able to you know because once once i make once i move my mama it's, it's permanent bro you feel me so that's why how you doing sorry i was recording something real quick oh, okay. i was trying to show them the house you were adjusted? yes oh okay yes nice, nice to meet you yeah. nice to meet you I don't mean to interrupt the video, but uh, what I was going to say was, and I'm going to talk a little bit more at the end of the video because I didn't get to really say a lot because my um, I was in an Uber. I, I had left in an Uber and shit. My father had to burp. But really, I was just saying right there, on, at least on that part, I was saying the reason why I haven't moved her out and, you know, everybody's like, you buy this or you, you know, just judging a lot of my, you know, at the end of the day, bro, I've worked very hard for what I have, bro. You feel me? So I feel like me spoiling myself. Sometimes it's good for me because at the end of the day, the career I have, the money I spend on myself is all towards a bigger purpose. You know what I'm saying? It's to help bring more revenue to my pockets, you know? But that's like that's not even like I don't have to explain that. But the reason why I haven't did it is because my mom lives in, a, in an area where she has help financially, you know? And 
once I move her out of where I move her out of, it's permanent. I can't never be like, all right, you know what I'm saying? Like, I have to move. Once I move her out, it's done. Like, I, it's all on me now, forever, you know what I'm saying? Just because I'm, that's the situation I'm getting myself into, and that's never a problem, you know? I just want to always make sure it's just it's comfortable for me also, you feel me, to where I can be able to support both of us and all my family, you know? But I've definitely been saving up a lot, and I definitely can say that, it's time, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm ready. You know, I, I saved and stacked up a whole lot, man. And I'm ready, but I'm ready to just start making these decisions, man. So, yeah, let's get into this video, though. I just had to get that off my chest. Oh, this is nice right here. Yeah, you want me to put the thing on my shoes? Yeah, please. please. Okay, I got you, I got you. I got you. Okay, so yeah. many times we uh, hire a photographer for our oh, for real? video. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, this is a brand new five-bedroom, three, four baths. Mm. Yeah, so uh, I assume that your brother and sister are older. Yes. Right? How, how old are they? Uh, my brother and sister are around like 16, 16 and 18. Uh-huh. Yeah. And the sister? And, yeah, my, no, my sister is... 16, your yeah. brother 18. Brother 18, yes. Yeah. Are you 20? Yes, 22. Oh, 22, okay, yes. wow. <laughs> okay, so, uh, so just uh, three, three of you and three your mom. Three of us and my mom, yeah. Oh, okay, four people, four or five bedrooms. Yes, yes. Yeah, okay. Look around. Uh, this is a, that house is a lot of upgrade. No, I like how modern it was. That that really stood out too, how modern it was. Cause you don't really find a lot of homes modern, you know? Right, right. Yeah. And uh, uh, this is a uh, first floor uh, bedroom. And uh, with the whole bath, I assume that your mom will love this. Yes, yes. Yeah. This is nice. This is gonna be like my. Like my gaming room. I gotta make this like my gaming room. Uh -huh. Like small, you know. So where do you live now? Uh, I live in like, I live in like um, Burbank area. Uh huh. Oh okay. And uh, currently renting or? Uh yeah, renting yeah. Oh okay. So do you have to give your landlord a, a notice? No, days? no. I was gonna break my lease, but oh. my lease already almost ends, so I don't really have to break it. It ends in um, it ends next month. Oh okay. Nice, yeah. Look, chandelier is hard. Right. So even chandelier is upgrade, upgraded. And this one has a big lot. And for the second floor, say family room. Or do, you, do you mind if I record you explaining? Yeah, okay. Okay, but just making sure I didn't want to do it like. Right. Cold air. <laughs> yeah. nice they gonna have a wash and dryer. They ain't never had no wash and dryer. Yeah, wash and dryer included. So do you have your own wash and dryer? Oh uh, yeah, I have one. <laughs> yeah, me. They they don't have one. We have like a wash house. No. It's cool. Fuck it's calm, calm. I'm trying to see. This how we... I'll talk to y'all about it later. Mm, bro, it's crazy really looking at houses, bro. That's crazy. Look at it. It's hard. It's a nice space. Yeah, they don't got that many clothes in here. I'm like, this is nice. I like this. How long has it been on the market for? Uh, for one month. One month? Oh, yeah, because uh, Lenore is kind of selective. Yeah. Make sure it's a uh, good family. Yeah. Here. No, I feel that. I feel that. Uh -huh. And then um, I gotta yeah, I gotta get your information after also, cause I I've been talking to you on the on the phone, right? We've been communicating. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. the one. Yeah. Okay. Okay, you haven't done yet. Oh, oh, I ain't done. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I like this. This is the crazy. master. This yeah, is this. the master suite. Yeah, my mom, my mom had to give me this one, man. Oh, okay. Like, so this is here's nice. a top and shower separate. Dang, that's hard. Oh, snap, I didn't even peep that. That's hard. That's hard. Okay. Dang, this closet is big as heck. Look at this closet, y'all. This closet is a walk-in closet. Walk-in closet, yeah. So yeah, that's hard. Oh, they been a pool out there. Yeah, this is nice right here. I ain't gonna lie. Got the slider. 
They got sliding lights. We don't got sliding lights. That's all right. <laughs> it was like a little, oh, this is a toilet. That's all right. Yeah. That's all right. Damn, bro. This is nice. I so like everything this. Everything you, you see is uh, the faucet, the tub, and the shower door, the glass door is all, all upgraded. That's nice. Yeah, it's a brand new home. Yeah, no, this is really nice. I like yeah. this. Yeah, and, and that is uh, a clubhouse. That clubhouse and few steps to a swimming pool. Oh, they build it. Oh, so this this is really like a new neighborhood. Yeah, it's a brand new, brand new neighborhood. Yeah. Oh, that's hard. Yeah, and um, the entrance you're coming from is uh, the driveway is gonna widen, widen, yeah. so it, that would be easier and safe. to get in. Yeah. Yeah. It's a beautiful neighborhood, isn't it? No, yeah, it's really nice. This 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 is what I want for her. I, I kind of want her in like. Like a like a like a community, you know. Like aside mm -hmm. from just being a home, I wanted to be living like a community where you know the kids can play with the other kids, you know. Because uh -huh. we can't really do that yeah. where we're from. But now nah, this is really nice. I'm a, I'm gonna give them like a one little tour. I'll okay. walk around one more time. Right. Just gonna talk to them. But yeah, now I like this house, y'all. This house is really nice, bro. We got this. This would be like I don't know whose room this would be. This would probably be like King or Emily's room. Cause I, I feel like I gotta have downstairs by myself. You feel me? Cause I be yelling when I be playing the game. So I know mama gonna be tripping on me. But yeah, this is probably like Emily or King's room. You know, they'll fight for the room. But I mean, I like it, bro. I like it. This is really nice. It's really nice. So your mom, your, your sister, brother, they don't have to see it. Oh no, no, no. They haven't. No, they no, they haven't seen it yet. No, they haven't. No, no. Do they want to just schedule an appointment to see this one? Uh, yeah, I'll probably most most likely schedule oh, okay. another appointment. Uh, so tomorrow I have a morning appointment, say 10 o'clock opening. And other than that, say uh, 10.30, 11.30, 11 and 11.30 is all booked. Okay. So if your family want to see it, so 10.30 is the one. 10.30 in the morning? Oh, no, no, I mean 10 o'clock, 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock? Yes. Okay, I, I had to make sure, because my mom, she be having work, so I just got to make sure she calls off so she can come through. Oh, okay. But we're, if not tomorrow, we could come like the day after tomorrow. Because I think it's the weekend, right? So she Sunday, are you, what, what's your schedule looking like for Sunday? Sunday, uh, so probably we'll make a decision very soon. Okay. Because uh, uh, we already got a couple of uh, applications. Okay. So, uh, uh, but owner, landlord hasn't made a decision yet. So by showing tomorrow with the three appointments, we're done. We're no more showing and we're going to make a decision which one. Okay. Okay. All I'm right. going to try to get in here tomorrow morning and I'm yeah, going to talk yeah. to my mom. Yeah, try to get it as soon as, soon as possible. And uh, I will send you the, uh, the rent free. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Very good. All right. Thank you so much, so, man. Do you have tape enough? Uh, I'm going to tape one more time downstairs. I'm going to show them one more time. Right. Got to show them one more time. Got to get some. You're going to show to your uh, family? Or? Yeah, I'm going to show to my family. I got my family watching right here. They're going to see. What is this? A little storage room? Uh, yes. This is under the stairway. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Yeah, but this is really nice. I like this. I like this, man. I like this. Oh, yeah. I got you. Okay. I got you. I got you. It's really nice, though, yeah. Got the closet right here. I didn't show you how the closet right here. It's nice. And then this opens to the garage also? Yes. So is your mom working or no? Uh, yes. Oh, okay. Let's see. Two oh, this is not two cars. Car. Yeah. Yes. It's nice. So coat closet here. Oh, a coat closet? Oh, no. A linen closet. <laughs> oh, this this could be like a pantry. Huh? Pantry. Uh, mm. Yeah, because they're close to a um, bathroom, so I linen closet. This is really nice. All right, yeah, I'm gonna get back to y'all. I'm finna um get some B-roll real quick, and then I'm gonna get back to y'all. Y'all yeah, like, bro, this dude shit is crazy right now. I know, bro. I've been um editing all day, bro. Y'all yeah, like, bro, these videos get edited right when I wake up, bro. Like when I wake up, I edit. Oh shit! Ouch. So yeah, I, I didn't really kind of get to talk to y'all about this video. I don't want to talk your ear off for real. I feel like I do that every video. Yeah, this has been a very big moment for me and my mom, you know, me and my family. This has been a long time coming, you know, um, 
I've been saving for so long. It's, it's so many times that I wanted to buy stuff and get a new car, get this, get that, but I always felt like I can't do it because I don't mind, I don't have my mom in a certain position I want her to be in, you feel me, I, like, you know, like financially and shit. I don't know, I've been just saving for so long, bro, and it just feels like everything is bit like starting to really come together, you feel me? Got a lot of brand deals, a lot of label meetings, a lot of money saved up that I've been just grinding and grinding and grinding, kind of like not spending for real, just grinding and grinding, putting it to the side. You know, nigga just been hustling for real. It's finally becoming that time, you feel me? It's finally becoming that time to where Okay, like, we can start house hunting, you feel me? This is our first house hunting video, episode one, so I need y'all to like up this video. Make sure y'all subscribe, too, because it's more to come, you know? And I'm gonna let y'all play a part in, too, like, play a part in this process, too, you feel me? Comment down below if you guys like the house, you feel me? Or we should, what what type of houses do you feel like? Or what, you know, like, just, like, certain things that y'all feel like would be good, like, oh, get one with a pool and, you know, stuff like that, like, which I suggest. Um, yeah, I feel like that was a nice start. You know, that was a really nice start. I, lo I loved the home. I loved how modern it was. But what I can say is I want it to be bigger. It's a nice home, but I feel like for my family, I want it to be bigger. You know, like the rooms weren't as big as I thought they would be. Like they damn near the size of the ones in Compton for what we got. Probably Bruh. a little bigger, but still close to it. I want it to be like a bigger house, you feel me? But that don't necessarily have to be a change in the price, you feel me? It, we could find some even cheaper than that with bigger rooms, you feel me? So I just feel like we're not going to settle for that one just yet. So we're going to go look at some more houses. I leave to Houston. What's today? I leave in the morning later on today, basically. But I leave in the morning tomorrow. So I will have a lot of new content when I go to Houston. Comment down below who y'all want me to collab with also, you feel me? I got more vids still dropping. I just want to drop this video because I want to mix it up. I don't want to just keep dropping the brook content. Like, I want to mix it up a little bit. <clears throat> but I may fuck around double upload today because the month is finna end. But I'm gonna see how many videos I got so I can orderly, you know, place them in order. I don't want to just be flooding, flooding, flooding when I could just let them sit. Let them, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. But I leave to Houston, so comment down below who y'all want me to collab with. We got I don't want to say who I got to collab with, King. I don't want to know. I don't want to say it. But just enjoy the content, bro. You feel me? Just enjoy the content. That's all. I'm just trying to really find my niche with this YouTube shit. You feel me? I love the vlog. I love vlogging. So I try to just, you know, try to keep doing the vlogging shit. You feel me? But I just be trying to find where I fit in with this YouTube shit. It's been kind of hard, you know, because I didn't start the YouTube shit for real, like by myself. I started with somebody. So it's kind of like hard finding your own wave with this shit. But I ain't going to lie, Five Mafia, we've been doing great, man. Like, to be able to pull in 40,000, 50,000, even on a music video we just dropped, bro, independent, bro, to be pulling 90,000 in four days, like, that's amazing, bro. You feel me? I, like, don't ever let nobody think that shit is, like, I remember niggas used to be like, niggas was in my comments, like, um, bro, you fell off, you're getting 40K, and we'll do, bro, you can't drop a video right now. At the end of the day, bro, yeah, nigga, get views, but at the end of the day, I'm a regular person, my nigga. I'm a nigga, I'm a regular person. Can you drop a video, the same niggas coming, can you drop a video and get 40,000 two day off of doing just living your regular life no you can't bro niggas you feel me like don't ever let a nigga think that shit is not good bro. don't ever let a nigga judge your success you feel me don't compare yourself to nobody at the end of the day bro you gotta just focus on you and celebrate your accomplishments bro i pay my bills every month i'm just grateful god is allowing me to be able to pay my bills every month you feel me i don't never measure my success for it. i just be like man i just be thankful and grateful and i just keep it pushing you feel me um yeah like We've been doing really good, though, y'all, like, for real, bro. Even regular vlogs, bro, like, 40Ks, 50Ks. We've been going crazy, 100Ks in a day, you feel me, with the Brook collab. Like, that shit is amazing, bro, you feel me? That's, that's definitely making nigga want to work harder, you feel me? Like, definitely just like, damn, bro, like, people really give a fuck about what a nigga has to say. And I wanted to address, too, the last video, bro. That last video I just posted, that was the last day. I mean, it was the first day I was there. I just dropped that video later. But that was the first time I was there, y'all. Yeah, I just want to address that, you feel me? Because niggas like, oh, like, bro, we good, bro, you feel me? We good, but I just want to address that. But it's nothing really, it wasn't, it's not even really addressing shit. I just had to throw that out there, like, yeah, that was from the first day. But we good, though, that's my, bro, I literally just got off the phone with her, man. We, we good, man, we good. We all have our reasons, you know, of why we do certain things as far as why we kind of, you know, just protect ourselves emotionally, you know, we all have our own reasons, you feel me? And, you know, I have my reasons. She has hers, you feel me? But at the end of the day, we, when we come together, bro, it's always genuine advice. It's always love. It's always positivity, man. That's all that matters. But I love you guys. Thank y'all for watching this video. EP will be dropping by the end of the month, so I hope y'all are ready. So I love y'all, man. Thank y'all for watching this video. Subscribe. And I'm out.
7 a.m. I was posted outside on the block with my niggas, we gon' be alright. Niggas wanna diss me on the ground when they see me, wanna shake my hand, we gon' see alright. Looking at V, we gon' be alright. Gotta spend twice, we ain't greedy that night. Wait, first time I couldn't sleep that night. Gotta double back, I ain't beat that right. We gon' be alright. We gon' be alright, alright. We gon' be alright. I was outside, puzzle with a nine on my hip Run down game when we shoot, we don't miss Die for my block, I ain't die by no bitch Nigga try to run down the block and he trip How the fuck my dog get lined by a bitch Stick to the code, I ain't never gon' switch Things go left, I ain't never gon' switch I ain't never gon' switch